Hello, I would like to show you this fascinating usage of the precision high voltage power supply from Spruce Science. In this demonstration, high voltage is applied directly to sodium solution to generate tiny sodium droplets. These charged ions are then brought into a gas flame so that you can see the bright yellow light emission. The electrospray ionization coupled with optical emission spectroscopy is an analysis method that can be used to detect alkaline metals, for example. Let me explain a little more about this two-step process using the schematic illustration you now see on the screen. The left side of the ground plate is where electrospray ionization takes place. The sample solution is loaded inside a syringe pump and a DC motor slowly pushes the liquid through the needle. High voltage in the range of 2 kV to 10 kV is applied to the liquid sample to make dry and tiny droplets that are electrically charged. The second part of the analysis is optical emission spectroscopy, which is illustrated on the right side of the ground plate. What happened here is that the gas phase ions are brought into the gas flame and the excitation causes light emission with colors unique to the sample element. The spectral lines are then measured for analysis. For more information on electrospray ion source, you can take a look at the academic article published by Masamichi Yamashita and John Fenn. High voltage power supply is currently off, so if you look at the tip of the needle, you will see droplets forming, then dripping continuously. The sample in this demonstration is sodium dissolved in water and isopropyl alcohol solution. In a few seconds, I'm going to apply 6 kilovolts to the liquid sample. As you can see, the flame color changes because thermal energy excites the sample molecules to a higher energy state, and their transition back to a lower energy state leads to photon emission with unique wavelengths that are characteristic of the sample molecule. Here's a more direct view of the flame so you can clearly see the change in color. When I turn on the high voltage power supply, sample ions are delivered to the flame and you can immediately see the change in color. In this case, it produces a bright yellow color because the sample I'm using is sodium. By using a spectrometer, it is possible to figure out the exact wavelength. Let's take a look at the spectrum. The spectrum that's in front of you shows light intensity on the y-axis and wavelength on the x-axis. The peak emission is at 589 nanometers, and that is the bright yellow light that you see. Your eye is responsive to wavelengths ranging from 380 to 740 nanometers on the electromagnetic spectrum. This analysis method is such a great way to detect alkaline metals and demonstrate how useful it is to have a precision high voltage power supply that is compact, lightweight, and versatile. So far in this demonstration, I used the enable button on the high voltage power supply to toggle between zero and positive 6 kilovolts to show the abrupt response. However, it would be interesting to see the gradual response. Fortunately, the desktop high voltage power supply I'm using is adjustable, so I will ramp the voltage using the dial indicator to see the effects. High voltage settings will be displayed on the screen. When there is no voltage applied, droplets form, then drip straight down. As voltage increases, you start to see the effects of the electric field and the shape of the droplets begin to change. When voltage is further increased to 3 kV, droplets begin to launch towards the bottom side of the ground plate. The droplets continue to climb upward with increasing voltage. Mode changes around 3.4 kV and you start to see spraying action. At 4 kV, there are changes in flame color you start to see yellow flickers, so there are a lot of instability. By the time it reaches 5 kV, the prominent bright yellow color from sodium is established. What if we zoom in on the tip of the needle and take a closer look at all the actions? When high voltage is applied from the needle, which is carrying a liquid flow, to the ground plate, we get this characteristic formation of what is known as a tailor cone. That tailor cone is then pulled into a jet. From there, the jet is further disrupted into a series of tiny droplets. 
you get this characteristic formation when high voltage is balanced with pumping rate. This clip will show the transformation from droplet to tailor cone as high voltage power supply is gradually increased. General observation is if the applied voltage is too high and field extraction exceeds pumping rate, spraying becomes lopsided or causes arcing. However, if the applied electric field is too low, then it leads to instability. For performance tuning, having an adjustable precision high voltage power supply is essential. The sign of the voltage drop across the liquid sample to the ground plate will determine which type of ions we're looking at. In this demonstration, positive high voltage output is connected to the needle and the ground plate is negatively charged, meaning that positively charged ions are selected. I hope this demonstration helps show you how to electrospray ions using a precision high voltage power supply. If you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the Sprue Science YouTube channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video. Also, if you want exclusive pictures and notes that I only share with subscribers, head over to sprucescience.com and drop us a line. It's free. Did you see the arc at 156 or the one at 204? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.